Anthony was found dead this morning in his hotel room in France. We obviously have been reporting all this week on the, on the suicide of Kate Spade, um, now Anthony Bourdain. Of course, this news comes just as we're still in shock over the death of Kate Spade. Bourdain lived here in Manhattan, close to CNN studio, before he became a Anthony Bourdain is dead, and I enjoyed his show. He was quite a character, I will say, but uh, so I just want to extend my condolences. Now, what's your, what's your ideal meal? Like, if you have, like, come Ideal on meal, road. if I'm getting, if you're planning on executing me uh, tomorrow, I'd like to be eating some really good sushi tonight. Really good sushi? What kind of sushi? Like the... Egg? Straight ahead, nothing, nothing, nothing uh, creative. You Classic nigiri. But for now, we live. So, gentlemen, this dish is called the colors of caviar. Everything is in layers. So on the bottom of the glass, you're going to find a caviar vinaigrette. Topped with a cream of caviar, then topped with a puree of French green beans with caviar, then a kernel of golden osage for caviar, and with your finishing the dish with a caviar sabayon. Wow, oh, look at this. That is beautiful. Feel guilty eating this well? I do. You do? I do. I'm feeling guilty now, but it will pass. So we are at Mark Hopkins Intercontinental Hotel here in San Francisco, and we are going to go to Top of the Mark. We were trying to go to, um, what was it, Palace Hotel, but redirected to here so that we can get a little brunch. Good morning. Hi, I called earlier for the uh, brunch buffet. Yes, so you for two. Reservations are now. Uh, so I didn't on the phone, but I told the gentleman yes, and we're coming right now. And he said, "Oh yeah, uh, for two, correct? yes for two. Thank you. All right, awesome. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Probably not. Do you want champagne? Yeah, not yet. Yeah, yeah. You change your mind. Let me yeah, know. thank you. Uh, coffee, yes, oh. and hot tea for her. Okay, yes. what you play with your name? What's your favorite? Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Thank you. Oh, so nice. Okay. So you want to get started? Yeah, I think we can just get started. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. <laughs> can I have a Alright, we're so excited. We are here at the brunch buffet at the top. You got all the like uh, lobster egg benedict. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Shrimp, seafood, no roll. Okay, guys. You can get to the right place, okay? Exactly. Because we want it. Yes. Oh wow. Oh look at this all this caviar and fish eggs. I just went to my first station, fish eggs, caviar, and I am loving it so far. Oh we got many pancakes. Many pancakes here. It's assorted. Assorted imported caviar. Oh my god! 
traditional traditional food here. Ravioli, oh my god, Julie's going for the ravioli. Good stuff. That's why I do beef and black truffle ravioli. Oh my god. Roasted sea bass. Lamb chops, rosemary lamb chops, dry aged New York steak. Oh my god. Grilled Mary's chicken. And then like whipped gold mashed potatoes. Brussels sprouts. Can I have some? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Julie's enjoying. <laughs> what do you think about your first impression here, Em? So excited. Yeah, so excited. <laughs> Some of that traditional black caviar. I don't know what it is. It looks awesome. Cut it in. Cut it in half. Yeah. That's the traditional caviar. So excited for this brunch. This is what we've been waiting for. Julie ended up getting some uh, some warm food first. Some of that beef ravioli and and, and her favorite king crab snow crab legs. Pretty freaking awesome. So at that caviar station, they have these little mini pancakes, and then like some kind of sour cream or cream, and then um, red onion, red onion, and some egg whites and and uh, and egg yolks. And I, I'm just absolutely can't wait to try this one. Caviar wasn't was not over savory, where it overpowered the entire bite. Julie just tried some of that that salmon. This is the trout, I think. Trout caviar. Mm. Oh, I might go for that salmon now. Mm. Mm. Delicious, man. Wow, we definitely don't get this in Alice Springs, Australia. <laughs> you like it? Julie is really digging the um, the trout caviar. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it now. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's plenty over there. That that trout. Mm. 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 It's like little bursts in your mouth and you just taste like the, the fish oil. It's just so delicious. Mm. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Mm. Those little small caviar has a big pop. I think they're flying fish or something, caviar. And try the, the small the small fish eggs. They pop in your mouth. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, yeah you like it? <laughs> there we go. I look at more under it. Mm. <laughs> Julie told me to eat it. I'm not going to say no to that. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Now, I'm going to check out this. Now, I'm going to check out this egg benedict with this lobster. Mm. Oh. oh, it oozed out on this side. Oh my god, look at that. It just absolutely oozed out on that side. It was like meant to be on that side or something. Uh, Lobster Egg Benedict. Mm. This is the uh, the claw, remember, Em? Mm -hmm. mm. Em, I'm gonna feed you this bite. Oh, it has the egg. Yeah, take it all in, take it all in. Mm. Thank you again. Oh wow. <laughs> Big bite. Oh, you can clear up. Oh, absolutely. What do you think? Alright, I'm gonna go in for the other piece of the claw. Egg yolk. A lobster meat. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Alright, I'm gonna go for that that last caviar piece before I go get another plate. Here we go. Mm. Yes, I would like to try that ravioli. This is the Wagyu beef ravioli. Julie cut in half for me. Mm. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Mm. Go get another plate. I absolutely had to go for some more of that caviar, especially when they refilled on the black caviar there. It's just amazing. See how that light just makes it glimmer and shiny. Oh, man. Trout, salmon. Oh, that's just amazing. Yeah, Julie ended up getting the oysters. And we got some warm cut meat. And I had to go for another one of those raviolis because they're good. This is the pork. Pork stuff with pineapple and everything. And this is your well done right here. Or medium well. That's my rare. Okay. And then Julie got to get the sea bass. Oh, is that good? That looks so good. That looks so good. Yes. Mmm. Flaky, fatty, oh wow, just melts in your mouth. Wow, all that fish oil. Piece of lamb, yeah. Mm. Everything is just absolutely amazing. All right. Since I got this ravioli, I'm gonna go for that first, but I'm gonna cut it in half. Then I'm gonna double stack it like that. Mm. One biter. Sorry if this offends you. If it does, get some concrete, mix it with your tears, and harden up, okay? Because this, this is absolutely amazing. Wagyu beef and ravioli. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Like my friend now. <laughs> Let me cut you some of this beef here. I just try, I want to try a little bit. I don't want to get a lot of food and I can't eat it. 
Here's There's some sauce, horseradish sauce. You get a bit spicy. Mm. That was a roast beef cut. Oh, now try Julie's. It looks like we're moving. We're not moving. <laughs> I think Julie's having her pre pre food coma. <laughs> we're not moving. You need to drink some more tea. Oh, look at this shiny cut, fatty roast beef prime rib. I'm gonna get some of that horseradish on there. Oh my god. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth, goodness. Oh man. If milk chocolate had a beef flavor, that would melt in your mouth right there. <laughs> Another one right here. Oh my god. It's so see how how shiny that is? Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Let me get let me get this one bite before I pass you the caviar. <laughs> okay. Which one? The black one? Salmon? Mm. Julie's asking for the salmon. Mm. I just want to eat it. You just want to eat the, uh, the, the caviar? Very smart. Alright. Look at this. Oh my god. This absolutely amazing. See how that just shines. I don't want to spill it. Oh my god. Yes. Happy New Year to my mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Em, do you want the other one? You good? Mm. Oh, delicious. Do oh. you want champagne? You want champagne now? A little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go for a little bubbly. Ah, a little bubbly, bubbly. Waiter talked us into it. Em, you ready for this one now? Hmm? Yep. You ready for this black one now? Yes. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the waiter was telling me how expensive those black caviars are and they have today for New Year's. Wow. We're so lucky. We're so lucky today. We can go for this trout, um, trout caviar. I don't want to spill it. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Omega 3 all day right there. Trout flavor. Mm. 
see the trout, the trout eggs are a little bit smaller and then the salmon eggs. See the salmon eggs? A little bit bigger. Packs a little bit more flavor on the salmon eggs. More fish oil in each in each uh, in each egg. But look at this. Look at this egg. Reminds me of Finding Nemo. That's Finding Nemo right there. And I'm I'm the the barracuda eating the eggs. Mm. That's fine. All right. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is delicious. Look, look how, look how tender and bouncy that is. Oh my god, it's just absolutely amazing. Mm. Yes, you did. Horseradish. It's so tender, you can just fold that over. Oh man. <laughs> Absolutely melts in your mouth. Here's some pork and some nuts. Pineapple stuff, fruit stuff, pork. It's alright. Not bad. I think, yeah, not bad. On the outside pork, it's a little, a little tough there. So I think I'm gonna skip on the, the rest of the pork here because it seems a little dry. Now time for the seafood. Here's the rest of my seafood plate. Am, do you want some of this more of this fish egg? Look at this, Am. Oh my God, your favorite. Pure crab meat right there. Mm. <laughs> Piece of the, the crab inside. Mm. Look how it's... Look how we're gonna get this meat right there. Slide it right out. Get some of that sauce. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Here's the rest of the here's the rest of the sea bass. Here's the rest of the sea bass that was on Julie's plate. Oh my god. That's that's just absolutely amazing right there. It just flakes apart. And oh wow. Mm. fish fat right there. That was like, that was like pork belly of the sea. Mm. Flaky. Mm. The texture of the shrimp is so awesome. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. You want this, Sam? Mm -hmm. Elbow meat. 
one of the best. Oh yes, I made it happen. Got some salt. Amazing brunch. <laughs> Just slides right out. Yeah. Bay oysters right here. Bay oysters. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is it? Nice and creamy. Texture is tender. No tough, no tough parts that get stuck in your teeth. Bay oyster. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Some more crab meat here. Oh yeah. Mm. And then just chowing down. Mm. since I like took two plates on that last one. All right, I did something pretty amazing, which I think is pretty amazing. <laughs> and I've never seen it before, so check it out. It's caviar on sushi. You see that? You sushi know, you know with caviar, caviar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw it, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I didn't see it on this, on this yeah. plate. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one right here. This one. Put a little bit of wasabi on there. Don't need soy sauce because all the flavor is gonna come from the caviar. Yes. Japan, eat your heart out. Caviar on sushi. <laughs> That's an amazing combination. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Oh yes. Mm. All right, my last piece. Can you want some of this? <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. I'm gonna try to get some of that caviar to fold up on top. Oh yes. Oh yes. Good memory with the deep. No, 
Next up, this is dry age New York strip. When I saw this, I had to try it because I used to dry age my own meat at home. I just absolutely just had to try it before I get too full. And I try to get the piece with the most like fat and maybe tendon in there. And uh, so it's it's cutting pretty tender. All right. Pretty good. Get some of that sauce in there. All right. Mm. Okay. Good. Depends how long you aged it for, and what was the the grade of the beef to begin with. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna finish it because I want to get to dessert. Yeah. All right, Julie gave me some bread pudding. I think it's the traditional Mark Hopkins bread pudding, right? Maybe. Mm. Trying to let that steak go down. Moving on to dessert next. Mm. Nice. Yeah, very nice. You're gonna have to show me where you got that. On the. On the left side. Hmm. Moving to dessert next. We got some fresh fruit, cheesecake, bread, whatever that green stuff is. Banana cake. That's banana cake. And something caught my eye when I was passing by the seafood again. I saw these clams I haven't tried yet. And there's like one left. The waiter said that he, he's gonna go look for some or gonna ask for downstairs to bring, bring up. Yeah, only one left. I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of clam this is, but what, that's what the shell looks like. And it's just a little bit of meat in there. Right? I just saw this one last one, and I just had to try it. Mm. Mm. Got a piece of shell. But the meat is good. Absolutely melts in your mouth. Mm. Wow, fresh tasting. Nothing fishy about it. Good stuff. Well, that brunch was just absolutely amazing. Again, we were at Hotel Palace. I'm sorry, not Hotel Palace. Uh, that's where we tried to go first. It was Mark Hopkins. And uh, this is what it looks like on the outside. And you go all the way to the top there to have brunch. And it was absolutely amazing with the view, with all the caviar, lobster, all that seafood. It was just absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah, again, especially with the view. And uh, so yeah, it was, it was pretty pricey. It was totally worth it. Um, uh, <laughs> Julie was like, hey, is it worth it? Did you try everything? <laughs> It was good. I feel it was like I feel liquid. I didn't eat a lot of oyster. Oh, you feel like you should have eat more oyster? Well, we got too full. Our stomachs can only handle so much. <laughs> but it was good. Awesome experience in San Francisco. You've got to try it out if you're a local. You've probably been here already. If you're visiting, you got to try this at least once. So, yeah. Maybe we'll uh, go across the street there and catch the, the cab that way. Come on, it's 10 seconds. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so the bill set us back about 253 totally worth it. Very expensive side. Uh, we gotta take a picture here. All right, well, we'll see you next time. <laughs>